All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to parse JSON in Python, how to create JSON from a dictionary, stuff like that. Um, now, notice I called this pi underscore JSON dot pi instead of just JSON dot pi. The reason for that is because there's actually a module called JSON. So we get an error if we try to call it JSON dot pi. So that's the first thing we need to do is import JSON. All right, and then I'm just going to create some sample JSON. Usually this would come from some kind of API. You'll probably make a request um, and then get some JSON back and then you can do what you want with it. But I'm just going to kind of hard code it. So I'll say user JSON and it would be formatted as, you know, double quotes for the key and the value. So we'll say first name. John and let's do last name. Doe and age and 30. All right, so that's that's valid JSON. And what we would do is parse it to a dictionary. Okay, so let's say parse to dictionary. So we'll create a variable called user. And what we would do is call JSON dot loads. Okay, JSON dot loads. And again, going back to JavaScript, oops, it's similar to doing JSON dot parse. Okay, like that. Uh, so we're going to pass in here the user JSON. And then let's go ahead and print user. See what we get. So we're going to say Python three. What I call this pi underscore JSON dot pi and there we go so we get a python dictionary if we wanted to pull a certain value we could say print user uh, let's do user first name so we could do that and we get john okay now if we had a dictionary and we wanted to parse it to json we could do that as well so let's say car equals and let's say make say Ford model Mustang year 1970. All right, so we have a dictionary here and if we wanted to parse this to JSON, let's say car JSON and set this to JSON dot dumps and pass in car. Okay, so if we go ahead and print car JSON, let's run the file. And there we go. So you can see that this is now in JSON format. So basically two important methods loads, which is going to parse parse it to a dictionary from JSON and then dumps, which is going to take it from a dictionary and parse it into JSON. Okay, so that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one.